stuff done around the map, right? Yeah. Because you have to utilize the Hex Flash, and this time around it is hey. going to be Mark having the Rel into his pockets, while Xiaohu, because of all these mid lane bans, three... Have a little bit of presence from Xiaohu, some pressure from Rookie. Tian ends up working his way back out, and Weiwei will show his face in mid lane. The situation quickly dies yeah, down, Mark but is here. Tian... Yeah, Weiwei has to flash because they have reinforcements coming. That steadfast presence, Weiwei's just going to go down first blood to the buckler of Tien. I and mean, that's just Tian wrapping Roxy <laughs> under the tier one tower. Oh, Weiwei, he rookie. wants to look Weiwei for it. Weiwei has literally just been here every time. Rookie tries to get that cool flash, but it's not going to be enough. Weiwei gets the kill in the end, and Tian wasn't there in time. And that's something we mentioned when dropping top esports information. They are just going to trade it over for this first dragon of the game. But once again, I mean, okay. Killer's first Jinx. That's so boring. <laughs> Kaisa, at least if she goes in, she'll put up a show. Zaya, she has great root angles. Throwing it back to Gala from last night, right? He was yeah. able to get insane roots as a self-engage on the AD cap. Oh, point blank charm into Glacial Prison. And Rookie is just locked down and dragged to hell by Xiaohu. There's it feels like for Weiwei. He has literally hovered this mid lane over and over again for the first 10 minutes. And you see Rookie, he's forced to build the Mertrez. No oh, no, oh no, he gets locked down. Cleanse ain't going to save you that time, Jackie Love. Flash from Light, and the Killer Instinct is on the side of Weibo Gaming. Mark is going down too, and it looks like Weibo have found the wound they needed. All that gold dropped into the pockets of Light. Every single time the camera pans towards the bottom side, it's Jackie Love getting rooted by Light. The mechanics are there, and the mistake oh, is punished. Oh? Okay, Wayward looking for the solo bolo on the shy. Tian coming over, flashing the wall. He's going to get it. The buckler. Oh! Of the shy gets the outplay in the end. And don't step to Giga Shy. Jackalove without the flash Can available. Can he take on the world? I don't think so. As the world comes down bearing on the Jackie Love, he bites the dust for a second time. Loses out from the wave and also extra tower blades into the hands of Light. Now Top East was in a very sticky situation where both top and bottom are losing control. Rookie tower is so incredibly low. They're just going to take this in front of Rookie. Easy peasy does it. And the shot with that demolished proc going to help out Xiaohu. And they get first turret of the game for Weibo. TS with a response on bottom side. See if Weibo want to face check. They get engaged on. But look at Weiwei over the other side. They get the re-engage. The Featherstorm is there too. You got to get the Blade Caller back. Crisp is still alive with the quickness. Jackie Love goes in with the Killer Instinct too. He's able to get one. But that big engage from Wayward, I don't think it makes a difference. Top Esports, they're fumbling the bag. They can't get him. It's going to be the trade back and Weiwei goes right back in for the engage. Rookie misses the hammer swing and Light is picking him apart with the feathers. That's three members down. Make it a fourth. Is it about to be an ace too? They want to try to get Rookie. The sharks are surrounding him and they smell blood in the water and the blood is run rampant for Weibo. We Has that momentum. I, I, we're, it's hot, Xi'an. I'm surprised we have so much snowballs coming here. Xiaohu, though, about to get snowballed on by the rest of Top Esports. He overextended and got capitalized on by Jackie Love with a snipe. Relatively good Esports game. will respond with a side lane of their own. This leaky sieve in mid lane could just keep on leaking. Let the water flow as Weibo are under the inhib tower here. They've already taken a tier two. And you got to be a little bit wary. The Shy wants it. He ends up getting it. That's three towers. Dragon. They do. It would be a second dragon for Top Esports. We said at the beginning, you know, Top Esports do have some scaling factors, but if Weibo never lets you scale, what's you going to do? Here comes the Horn of the Forge God straight onto the side for the shy it is going to be the kill going over this actually looks really good for tes they move forward though with that double knock up as well they get the engage on the light he's going to get taken out by tn and it is top esports who roar back to life from 7k now to five that's a big difference i will say this second dragon as well is going their way I'm cutting off the shy as he was completely separated from the rest of the team and they do get the bounty gold from light into the pocket so they got to keep the pedal to the metal. The Shy, he's walking straight into his death. He's gonna try to get the outplay here, but he's just locked down. It's Wayward that gets a bit of revenge on his top lane counterpart, the Baron. They are gonna start a Baron at 20 minutes dead set. 
TPs are available for both top laners as top esports. They oh, this Light, out. Light got hit by the Void Seeker, and that just means the Flash by the Storm is already out. The Glacial Prison did miss too, and top esports, they are going to capitalize on the Shy who TP'd boldly. He'll go down again for a third time in a row, and Jackie Love picks him up. They're going straight to the Baron. The Shy doesn't have TP to rejoin. Rich Baker here, some poke coming down from the non poke composition, but it's TS feeling a little okay, bit hesitant verdict. here. A little bit of anxiety stepping in. The Keeper's Verdict is actually so big on the way away and that just means the Baron goes to top esports and the table has been flipped. We're almost dead even now. Hands of top esports, the scaling composition with a Baron that has that boost of XP into the pockets of Wayward and Rookie with the Mana Munit online as well now. The fights are going to be Hornhorn Horn coming in. The Shy, that's a killer instinct. The Shy dead again. We're burger flipping today and it's going the way of Wayward so far. My God, what a comeback from top esports in this game. People seem to forget that Jackie Love on this Kaiser can just fly onto you from two screens away without your top laner now. The tier two is going to fall. And this has been a long time coming for Jack, giving those whippersnappers a little bit of hair too. Uh, we do actually see that third dragon going over to top esports. So that'll be soul point on a mountain. A barren play as well with the tier two, like you said, falling in the bottom lane. Xiaohu isn't here. He isn't going to be close to his third item either. And now Zaya, but is it going to be enough? Weibo are full force out here to try to respond to top esports' aggression. Oh, triple engage from Mark with that crash down. Jackie Love gets one, gets two. They're looking for more. The Shy is getting knocked up and taken out. That's not going to be the third for Ro uh, Jackie Love. It goes to Rookie instead. The long distance engage from Wayward, and that's already four members down. Light is going down too. He's under tower, doesn't get knocked up there. But Jackie Love goes forward, and it's top esports running away with this one. You know, Mazel, credits to you because the entire camera panned to Jackie Love and the tiny gameplay was just in the corner. But Jackie Love on this Kaisa popping them up. So much experience. We heard Jackie Love say it earlier. Anything but a championship is absolute fight. Or that's a mountain soul straight to top. They can't keep giving anything over. Wable Gaming, they're out of options. They get the charm, but it's not going to be a pick. He gets the unstoppable there to get out of the grand entrance. Dragon already about half health here. Weibo can't even get in here. They're just going to force it. Weiwei is just walking forward. He's just trying to find something. Here comes the engage from Wayward 2. You got to watch light, though. Rookie. He gets locked down by Rookie. The Keeper's Verdict going to go wide. The other side, though, the Shy, he's trying to do something, but there's nothing left. And that's a full-on clean fight from Top Esports, that's the TP's in. A Quadra kill for Rookie. He's looking for more. He wanted the TP for the Pentakill. He doesn't hit it. Rookie, he wants Xiaohu. He wants to claim the Emperor's title. He wants one more shot, but he's not gonna fight it. It's not gonna be the Penta, but it will be Xiaohu going down at the end here after a little bit. And one more shot, the unofficial Penta for Rookie and a game three win for top esports rookie finds revenge from the early game and this j three games in a row Wable gaming they are truly disappointed because this game was supposed to be theirs my goodness what a turnaround top esports continue to find their wins on blue side and they continue the fate of this roller coaster series